good morning children in the previous classes we try to understand about the freedom struggle in hyderabad state so we try to understand the organizations like andhra janasangham formation the resolutions passed in the andhra mahasabha it was a literary movement basically started as a library movement and then uh, the social reforms started dominating uh, uh, in these uh, organizations uh, to be brought and uh, they started when communists had taken over the andhra mahasabha uh, they organized a armed struggle against to the nizam so this is what the role of andhra mahasabha we have seen in the previous class today we shall understand about uh, hyderabad state congress what role does the hyderabad state congress played in the freedom struggle in hyderabad state also we try to understand the indian national congress the congress you know, hyderabad congress is nothing but the pradesh congress is nothing but the branch of the indian national congress so only functioned in british india and did not function directly in the princely state because nizam hyderabad state is a princely state under the british indian national congress functioned only in the uh, direct rule of the british areas but not in the princely states however the common people faced many problems of oppression and injustice uh, in these princely states also and they wanted to join the larger freedom movement in india so in such a state the nationalists have forced the state congress uh, to fight for democratic uh, rights in these princely states and for the reforms of uh, representative government in these princely states this happened in hyderabad too in many princely states this kind of uh, a fight went on for the democratic rights and for the representative governments in the, even in the princely state and that also happened in hyderabad so the hyderabad state congress was uh, formed in 1938 it was uh, uh, before the independence in 1938 the hyderabad state congress got formed and uh, seeing uh, the rising tide of uh, nationalism in hyderabad the nizam banned uh, the singing of vande mataram nizam did not like the people to sing vande mataram and he issued a uh gazette okay a farman to ban completely uh, vande mataram singing of vande mataram which is a popular nationalist song in those days so this caused a mass reaction why he banned the vande mataram and uh, the students in schools and colleges took part in the agitation singing this song only against to the nizam the nizam responded by closing down all the colleges and schools because those were the urdu medium schools and run by the nizam uh, grant for that reason he banned all the he has closed down all the colleges and the schools so the nizam responded by closing them and uh, many students uh, uh, had forced to go to other states to continue their studies and uh, for banning these uh, for closing down the colleges and the schools enthused by the response of the youth of this uh, hyderabad state uh, who were sympathetic to the congress movement in the country uh, they had set up uh, another uh, hyderabad state congress in 1938 the prominent leaders of this uh, hyderabad state congress are swami ramananda tirtha is uh, the most prominent one and followed by the several young leaders like uh, burugula ramakrishna rao uh, jamalapuram keshav rao kv rangareddy jv narsingha rao and uh, were the top leaders of the uh, movement because they are the youth people who involved uh, the nationalistic uh, cause and uh, the nationalistic uh, uh, fervor in the people so even young leaders like uh, uh, marri chennareddy also uh, was a uh, founder of the hyderabad state congress later he became even the chief minister of andhra pradesh marri chennareddy and even pv narsimha rao who became the prime minister of the country was also the part of the founding uh, uh, state congress in hyderabad state the state congress demanded the fundamental rights should be conferred upon the people what are the fundamental rights the right to express their opinion they wanted the scrapping of uh, Uh, circulars restricting the freedom of press uh, speech association these all are the fundamental rights these all were banned by the nizam not even to associate so these all should be restored and right to hold the religious procession whether it is uh, it may be the uh, ratha yatra it may be the ganesh nimarjan yatra okay so these all religious processions must be given the permission these all were banned under the nizam so they also demanded the rule of law rule of law means uh, the equality of law whether you are a hindu or muslim whether you are a rich or poor the law should be same they demanded the state uh, to be made by elected uh, representatives uh, and not the nizam so nizam has selected his own people in the functioning of the state so they demanded that a representative government should be appointed it was in 1942 they started the salt uh, the they started satyagraha in uh, 
tune with the All India Quit India movement because in 1942 Gandhi ji gave call for the Quit India movement, Do or Die movement. Already we have seen in the previous session, uh, previous lesson. So the Do or Die slogan was uh, taken up even in the princely state of Hyderabad state. It was also banned and its uh, leaders were arrested in 1946 when the independence of India was became imminent. The Hyderabad state began a campaign. for the merger of hyderabad state into the indian union with the republic of india and put an end to the nizam rule but this did not happen what has taken place is uh, nizam did not merge it with the hyderabad state uh, uh, did not merge the hyderabad state into the republic of india but he wanted to remain independent as a hyderabad country so there was a larger armed struggle which has taken place from 1946 to 51 which we call it as a telangana armed struggle so we shall read about the doras deshmukhs in the previous lesson the hyderabad state in chapter 10 uh, we shall recall the problems of the peasants in the next class okay and the service class of the telangana uh, armed struggle in the next class children thank you